The brine has been boiling for four hours. Enough water has evaporated for Ruth to attempt the next stage of the process, extracting the salt. The very best quality salt is this first scum, if it's clean. And there is one thing I could do to make sure that it really is clean. What I need to do is throw a load of proteins in, and then those proteins will bind with any impurities that are there. The cheapest was ox blood, but I haven't got a huge supply of that. I'm going to try with some eggs. And just give them a big stir up. It's certainly gathering bits together in larger clumps. I mean, the sort of leaves and twigs it's not doing much to. But it does look like it's taking some of that funny colour out. Prices for salt varied depending on its purity and whiteness. There were different grades of salt, with the greyest and cheapest used for household cleaning and the whitest being reserved for salting cheese. That is looking much cleaner. Ruth is experimenting with forming salt in a traditional wicker cone. These would have been used for draining and transporting. It will be taken back to the farmhouse to be used for her winter preparations.